Hello, everyone. Uh, you are viewing the lecture on uh, the introduction to uh, Philippine history and constitution. So, uh, sa lecture na to, so we will be presenting the, uh, the the course description, the objectives, the course outline, and uh, what will be the requirements for our course. Okay. All right. So, uh, So, what is the course description or what is the course all about? Okay. So, let's read together. So, the course presents information and analysis of Philippine history and constitution. So, title pa lang, right? This part or this bit is very much uh, obvious. So, it's about uh, the history and the constitution of the Philippines. Okay, so, it covers the changes that occurred in the island, islands, sorry, uh, highlighting the factors and elements that shaped uh, Philippine economy, culture, and state. Um, so, yun. so uh, although we will be talking about the history of the Philippines and uh, the changes in the, in the Philippines, Okay. Uh, we won't be as comprehensive as uh, as much because uh, this course is a combination of the history and the constitution of the Philippines. So in as much as we want to go into full detail about the changes, okay, so we will only be highlighting the important uh, events okay, or the important ayan niya, factors and elements okay, that contributed to uh, the history of the Philippines or to how the Philippines is today. Okay, so we will really be focusing more on anal analyzing okay, what or how and why uh, the Philippines is like this today okay, or why uh, certain events happened and how it affected uh, the Philippines of the present. Okay. So, uh, so this uh, we will not really be too delved in memorizing the certain facts or certain information. Okay. Um, today it's not uh, memorization is not really the uh, actually ever since memorization is and should have not been the uh, the way to uh, to approach history. Okay. Yeah, dapat talaga history is really more on analyzing. All right. Uh, but yun nga, sad to say, uh, ever since elementary tayo, di ba? Uh, the way our teachers taught us history is by yun nga, memorizing dates, memorizing names or places. Okay, without really tying them together or or giving analysis on how these elements or how these uh, individual facts uh, come together to tell us how and why uh, the Philippine Filipino nation is is as it is today. Okay, so don't time of focus must mag focus. Uh, yeah, so the factors and the elements that shaped uh, the, f the state of the Philippines today. All right. Uh, so this course will also include uh, the basic concepts of prin uh, and principles of the state and the government. Uh, so, yeah, uh, so basically, by the end of this course, so hopefully uh, you get to understand more about the government, okay, about our government, about uh, the Philippine state. Okay. Uh, using the Philippine Constitution as our frame of reference. Okay, so yun nga, uh, how can we be better citizens? Okay, uh, how does the government function really? Ano ba talaga yung, yung to the letter? Ano ba yung trabaho niya? Ano ba yung ginagawa niya? Okay, uh, so yun. All right, so. It's breaking breaking down the description. So, what do we aim in this course? So, first is to uh, familiarize with the elements that contributed to the development of Philippine history and society. 
Okay, so again, we use the term familiarize. Okay, hindi tayo magme-memorize. Okay, because, well, if you're familiar with something, then you know it, basically, you, you know it by heart, you know it by mind. Okay, and, and of course, dapat every Filipino should be familiar with his or her own uh, history. Okay, dapat alam natin ang kwento ng bayan natin. Uh, it's because, well, it's who we are as a people, di ba? Kung baga, if you don't know your history, parang sinasabi mo, ikaw mismo hindi mo kilala kung sino ka. Okay, so we should be aware, uh, we should be familiar with our history so that we as Filipinos know who we are as Filipinos. Okay, because everything that we have been through, uh, everything that we have experienced, uh, will tell us or will make us realize why we are like this as a nation right now. Okay. So, second objective, it's to analyze you know, in line with the first objective, to analyze the important events that contributed to the development of the society. Um, so, yun nga, um, so, we will be paying attention to the events that uh that, that are contributory factors to why the Philippines or the state of the Philippines is uh, like this in the present. So, bakit ganito ang estado ng Pilipinas? So, of course, we're going to look at the events in the past uh, that help contribute to what we are experiencing today. Okay, so we are... Uh, third, so we are going to identify the operations of the government. So, yun nga, how the government functions, how the government works, how our government uh, works. Okay. And then we're going to evaluate how the bureaucratic processes can be in improved. So, yun nga. Um, so if uh, so, we're going to look at how the government functions, and then we can we can look or we can assess. Okay. Um, is is the system is the government system efficient or as efficient as it can be or can there be changes or can there can there be improvements Ayan. okay so we need to exhibit uh, political consciousness and maturity towards nation building um so yun nga kasi what we aim for are professionals who are not just uh excellent in in their chosen fields okay, but are also uh, politically conscious meaning you are aware of what is happening uh in the society and of course you are also uh mindful of what happens or of what is happening okay and hopefully na beyond your profession but you are contributing to uh the development of our nation. Uh, hindi naman yung maging aktivista tayo, but uh, really we uh, we we play a more active role in our community uh, outside of being nurses, outside of being uh, pharmacists, outside of being doctors, outside of being engineers. Okay, because there are there are more than one way. There is more than one way to. Uh, to contribute to the development of the community, okay. Um, so yeah, so we we have we all need to contribute uh, in the task of nation building, okay. All right. Uh, so we need also to cultivate values and morals through a deepened understanding of historical events. Um, so yeah, because in understanding these uh, events we get to realize certain aspects of life that uh, that you know that are really essential in uh, in living in a society okay um, there are certain themes there are certain uh, values or virtues that we can uh, we can realize na uh, certain things could have been avoided or certain uh, goals could have been achieved if uh, certain values or certain morals ha uh, have been practiced or are practiced by the people. Okay, so we hope to realize that uh, by examining the different 
uh, historical events. Okay. Um, and then, of course, by looking at the situation of the Philippines or in the lens of history and government, government and the constitution. So we let's try to formulate uh, what solutions we can uh, we can suggest or we can provide uh, that the society is facing right now. Okay, because again, the study of history and the constitution is not uh fruitful or it's not beneficial if we cannot uh if we cannot present or provide ideas that can help us the community in solving the their problems or whatever it is that they are facing so ngayon, di ba, uh, we are all facing uh the the pandemic okay so we are uh uh, uh, previous year, at the end of the year, diba, a lot of people have been uh, have been battered by the storms, by the continuous typhoons. Okay, so how can we provide solutions to uh, the problems that the society experienced or and is continuously experiencing right now? Okay. All right. So, uh, give, given that, so ito yung magiging outline of our topics. Okay. So, um, it's not as detailed as, ano, kasi, well, ano lang naman yan. Um, so, first, we're going to cover some basic concepts of history. So, what it is that we need to understand about history, such as, yun nga, what history is, why we need to study history, okay, its relevance, and... So we need, and after doing that, so we're going to have a review of Philippine history. So I'm sure na, yeah, you've already taken Philippine history in your high school. Um, kaya lang, it's been a long time since uh, since that time. So medyo kailangan natin mag-recap. Okay. Um, tanong, uh, do... Do you still remember your Philippine history? Ma, can you can you narrate? Uh, can you narrate generally how the events uh, in Philippine history transpired one after the other, diba? In in one paragraph, diba? Mga ganyan. Okay, so we need to be able to do that. Remember, as Filipinos, you know, we need to know our own history. We need to know our own story. Okay, so we're going to review yun nga, ano ba yung mga events that transpired in Philippine history. And then after reviewing these events, so we're going to analyze uh, some of the some of the important events okay, that transpired. Okay, so we're not going to analyze all kasi mauubos yung oras natin. Okay, so we're just going to choose and select some of the uh, some of the important events okay, that transpired okay and after the history philippine history phase so we're going to the philippine government phase so of course some basic concepts again uh, about the government about the state okay and what do we mean when we say government uh, in general lima, what is a government okay uh in the philippines so anong klase ng government meron tayo okay Man. And then we're going to look into the Philippine Constitution. Now, again, it's not going to be complete, or and it's not you know, complete in the sense na uh, bit him, but we're, uh, we're not going to analyze uh, every article again. Uh, konti lang kasi yung, um, so yun yung hati kasi ang course natin between Philippine history and Philippine constitution. So we're just going to select uh, the important articles that we need to analyze or to go deeper into. Okay. Um, particularly, so yun nga, uh, what are your rights as citizens? But of course, after your rights, what are your obligations? Okay, as mentioned in, uh, in Article 4, citizenship and 5, suffrage. Okay, so how the government works. So, yun nga. Um, uh, for example, how how is a law made? 
Okay? And then, what can be done uh, once the law is finished? Diba? What what should be done in order for it to take effect? Okay? Uh, how do we remove uh, inefficient uh, officials? That is lawful, of course, syempre. Alright? Uh, so, yun. All right, so yun, yeah, well, we're just going to select the important ones. All right. Okay. All right, so for your final requirement, so hopefully we get to finish our uh, discussions uh, to give time for your requirement. So ano na ba ang gagawin sa ating final requirement? Um, so you're going to make an article review about a recent uh, online scholarly in inter in I'm sorry an online scholarly and interdisciplinary article that focuses on uh, pharmaceutical fire pharmacy and medical uh, practices combined with at least one of the following disciplines uh, in uh, culture cultural heritage history governance or government policies or politics in general so for example uh, you you have recently read uh, an article about medical practices and uh, and culture. Okay, um, for example, yung yung mga modern uh, mga cultural practices, uh, mga cultural practice, uh, cultural medical practices, uh, yung mga traditional medical practices na that are recognized and that are observed or given scientific basis by yeah, by by researchers so yung mga ganyan okay or if you want yung mga medicinal plants and medicinal herbs yung mga recent na yan uh, med uh, herbal medicines that are uh, that are studied yung nga. so yung mga ganyan or different medical practices uh historical medical practices so yung mga yan yung mga uh, pharmaceutical and medical practices before that are reviewed and uh, analyzed okay, for use in today's uh, today's time okay, yan. Uh, or how government policies uh, intermingle with different medical practices okay, so ayun so again, the key term in choosing the article is it should be interdisciplinary uh, with the following uh, with the following disciplines. Okay. Um, all right. So what if, for example, you have found a, a good article? Okay, kaya lang, uh, it's not aligned with one of the disciplines enlisted below. So of course, you can always contact me. You can always ask if pwede ba ang article na nakita niyo. All right. Uh, uh, remember, we have posted uh, uh, the contact information previously uh, sa ating course site. So, uh, so, yun. so, feel free to ask. Feel free to message. Okay. So, yun lang naman. Uh, an article review. So, it's, it doesn't have to be long. Uh, but what should be contained in the article review? Okay, so so in addition to the actual article, so please also send the um, the actual article that you are reviewing, pwedeng yung mismong file or yung mismong article, or you can just send the link. Okay. Uh, so, and then you can prov uh, please provide the summary of of the article focusing uh presenting the problem the research problem and the findings of the article so ano ba yung main objective ng article okay what is the problem that the article wants to address and of course their findings so summary basically okay and then uh so the review will focus really more on relating uh, the findings to the philippine context okay? especially if um, especially if uh, if the article is intern uh, is an international article, okay. So consider the following suggestions 
Okay, so should the findings be applied in the Philippines? So yeah. Uh, what can the Filipinos uh, as a nation learn from the findings? Okay, does the Philippines have something that can improve or contribute to the findings? Okay, so these are just sample suggestions. Of course, you can you can uh, you can use your own guide. Uh, the important thing here is to relate it to the Philippine context. Okay, so what if uh, the paper or the article is uh, Philippine, Filipino article? It's it's already about the Philippines. Okay, and then you can make your assessment, okay, uh, based on your own perspective or based on your own uh, analysis. All right. So again, uh, yun nga, if if uh if you if you want to relate it using your own way but you are yeah, you are uh, you want to make sure that it's it's possible or it's applicable then again please feel free to contact me so yun, sa totoo lang, that's in yun, yun talaga ang role namin as instructors as uh, instruct college instructors so we are here to clarify your uh, your concerns or your clarifications. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so and uh, please feel free to message me again uh, during office hours uh, if you have clarifications or questions. Okay, so you know my final requirement. So we won't be having a, a written exam, talaga. Okay, so it's just going to be an article review. For the prelims, yun, mag essay tayo. But for the final requirement, it's an article review. Okay? Okay, so... Ayan. Alright. So if you have questions, so feel free to, again, contact me. And, yeah. Okay, so stay safe and stay safe. <laughs>